heat getting into my car after it's been in the heat all day. Okay. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine and I just vlog my day. But yeah, so we're gonna get started already. So today is, is Friday, 4.27 p.m. Let me just fix my hair. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna get coffee before we start today's ride along. My car is reading 103 degrees. Um, my weather app told me 100, but my car is reading 103, which is awesome. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go to a different area this time. I'm gonna head to a different plaza, a different um, area in uh, Arizona. <laughs> I almost said my city. There's a lot of new restaurants in this specific area that I'm going to. There's a new um, Taco Bell, there's a new Panera. Guys, I'm so excited. I have an appointment tomorrow to get Botox done. I'm gonna get a little bit of Botox in my frown lines right here. It's lighting. Oh yeah, like I was saying, I'm gonna get Botox in my little frown lines right here because uh, they're really prominent and it like runs in my family. Everyone and from my grandpa's side of the family has it pretty bad. I was gonna say, oh yeah, before we get to the ride along, I know it's been a long time guys, I'm sorry. I really don't film that much anymore because with this Arizona heat, I have been just staying inside. I hate coming out here now. It's just way too hot, but I do want to come out here today, make some money, do some DoorDash, do some Uber Eats. I got my water with me, obviously. What are we gonna say? Well, yeah, me and my mom went uh, dashing yesterday, actually. So, was it yesterday? No, sorry, the day before yesterday. I made $78 in about three and a half hours, which is really good. We were in a different area than usual. We weren't in my area. We were in like um, this area near uh, a mall and just a really busy like shopping center area. She actually drove me around. She drove us around. So I was able to relax and kind of just chill. <laughs> I was still getting off of the restaurants and like, you know, getting the orders and dropping the orders off, but she was driving me around so I didn't have to worry about driving, which was nice. I did pay her for gas, obviously. She made me. She made me. Um, we want to do that again pretty soon. I'll let you know when I get my first order for the night. Alrighty guys, so I just picked up my Dutch decaf. I just accepted in, oh my god, looking for my straw. Um, oh my god, what was his name? Okay, I just accepted a DoorDash order for $8, going almost four miles at Whataburger. I've never picked up from this restaurant before. It's semi-new in my area, so that's also why I've never picked up from there before. But the customer ordered 13 items. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, so I accepted the order and then I checked through the items and I saw that there were 13 items. They're like burgers and fries and things like that, so. We'll see when the order's ready, how long it takes to get the order ready. So I am assuming that the order's gonna go up. I think it's gonna be a 10 or, or an $11 order. Have you guys noticed that DoorDash, the DoorDash app isn't showing the customer's name anymore until you click arrive at store? I noticed that the other day when me and my mom were out dashing that it just says customer now. It doesn't say their name anymore. I think that DoorDash is doing that because dashes were stealing people's orders, which I mean makes sense from like a business standpoint. You wouldn't want to expose the customer's name if people just continue to steal these DoorDash orders. I just thought that was interesting because when I was on the DoorDash app and I saw that it said customer, I was like, I remember telling my mom, I was like, their name is customer? Like they, they put their name in as customer, like that's so weird. And then it happened with every order on DoorDash after that. And I was like, oh, so it's just DoorDash is doing that. Because once you click arrive at the store, then it shows you the name. So sorry about the glare, guys. I wish I could do something about the glare. Yeah, I'm headed there right now. I'm like a uh, half a mile from it. It's in this little complex right here. I don't know if it's leave a door yet, but it is a house, which is nice. You know, it's so scary ordering decaf from coffee places because you never know if they actually gonna put remember what you never know if they're gonna remember to put decaf coffee in it not caffeinated coffee. this one's really good that is the new store right there oh there's parking i don't know if they want you to go through uh drive through or not but i'm assuming they don't want you to so i'm just gonna park 
Oh my god, I parked perfectly. How did I do that with one hand? Picked up the orders. They put the drinks in a bag. So they put, um, you see, they put a large shake and a small shake in there and they put the food in this bag. It says hand it to me, but then it says he, like he put it in the comments to leave that door. So I'm just gonna like leave it at the door. Wait, how do we get out of here? Do I, I'm gonna go that way. Um, Gary is 2.4 miles away. It's like a seven minute drive, which is really good. I thought he was gonna be a little bit further from the restaurant, but two point something miles is not bad, especially for eight bucks. Oh, it was hot today. My gains, you can't even see them. So I heard that Nova Dasher got um, deactivated. Sorry, Nova Dasher, sorry. I haven't been watching any of his recent videos yet about him doing Uber Eats, but I did see that he is doing Uber Eats now, so that's really cool. Um, I like Uber Eats a lot. Okay, order is dropped off. And order stayed at $8. <laughs> the order stayed at $8. Oh my god. I thought it was going to go up, but orders in my area really don't really ever go up. I have Uber Eats on, I have my DoorDash on, so I'm just gonna head back to a good area. I'm gonna turn my Instacart on too. I actually did a Fry's Instacart order the other day. I think it was like, it was $27, but then she had two refunds, so then it went down to $26, which isn't that bad considering two refunds. What is my car doing? My car is tweaking right now. Anyways, there's a fries right here, there's an ice cream shop right here. If I look tired, don't worry about it. So I was sitting here waiting at, so there's a fries right here, let me just show you. I just accepted a batched, not a batched order, what was I just about to say? I just accepted an Instacart order at this fries right here for $23. It's five miles, it takes like 11 items. So let's go shop for this order, guys. I'm dying, it's so hot. Okay, so the Instacart order actually took um, longer than I thought it would. It was only like 11, oh, 12 items actually. The customer added one item to the order. Before I accepted the order, I didn't know that it had alcohol in it, which can sometimes be annoying because the alcohol, they look so similar to each other. So I, I had a hard time finding it and then I realized, oh, it's actually out of stock. So I had to contact the customer Tell them it was out of stock, got a replacement, got that scanned and everything, so that went fine. Shopping took me almost half an hour. There were just like items that were really hard to find. I'm not very familiar with this fries. <laughs> Most of the items were hard to find for me. Uh, it was the cashier's first day at work at the register, so it took a little even longer because of that. She was having trouble learning how to do the whole Instacart thing, you know, where you scan the barcode. She was a little bit confused about that, so that kind of took a little bit longer too. I don't know, I just don't really care for alcohol orders because then when you get to the drop-off, you have to ask for ID and things like that. I don't know. I mean, most of the time it's okay, it's fine, but the drinks that he ordered are very heavy, so I just imagine myself struggling on my way to Frick. Struggling to drop off his order because his drinks are very heavy, but he is 4.5 miles away now, a seven minute drive, it's not bad. After he added an item, my Instacart app told me that the order went up by a dollar, so I accepted it at $23, but then it said that my estimated earnings was $24, so 24 bucks in about an hour is not bad it was a little bit stressful though i felt very stressed inside the store i was like running around trying to find certain things it was just it was a mess it was a mess but i do have my coffee which definitely helps me 
I won't record the drop off just because you know I'm gonna have to get his ID and stuff and be all up in his space. Okay, that was kind of a stressful drop off. The Instacart app didn't want to like scan her ID, so I was just standing there awkwardly, like with all her stuff. Like, I'm sorry, it's not scanning. Obviously, you're over 21. She was like an older lady. Um, that was stressful. I'm just glad it's over. Um, I have my DoorDash running. I still have Instacart on, but I'm not really in the mood to do another Instacart order. I kind of want to just do food delivery for the rest of the night, see how much I can make. So, so far, I'm only at $32 for the night. I've been going for about an hour and a half, so it's not bad. I'm going to start heading back to the area with all the restaurants and stuff. I'm kind of a ways away. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? I'm trying to use Dutch Bros as a uh, navigation point so I can just head there and that's where all the restaurants are. So I'm 3.9 miles away from it, 7 minutes away. So yeah, I'm still waiting for a good order. Like I said, I'm heading back to my area, kind of. So I need to charge my GoPro, so bye. to Walmart and there's a Chipotle right here and a Panda Express right here so yeah Panda Express sounds really good I'm starting to get kind of hungry DoorDash just paused me because my connection is bad Good news. I just got an order on Uber Eats. It's a double order for $18. One pickup is at Chipotle, which is right here. The other pickup, it didn't tell me, so I don't know the other pickup. But I think it's only like six miles for $18, and it could go up. It could go up, like I said. Um, I'm gonna park right here, right in front of the Chipotle. Anyways, I'm here at the Chipotle right now. So I didn't want to record the pickup, like I said, but um, Andrea's order is in the back seat. I just checked the Uber Eats app and the second pickup is actually at Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's is, hmm, like kind of like down the street, pretty much. Google Maps says it's 0 0.8 miles away. And Tana, I think the name of the customer was, she ordered two things and I'll put a picture up of what she ordered somewhere on the screen. Really glad I got this order because it's only like $18, I mean, it's only like six miles total for like 18 bucks, so pretty good, pretty good, especially if it goes up. But guys, I'm getting Botox here because as you can see, uh, my lines are really bad. They're really, really creased and it's one of like my biggest insecurities right now is like this part of my face, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna pay like I think 140 bucks total for um, the whole session. Not bad, not bad. It would have been over 200 bucks without the group on, but I'm paying around 140, so. Ooh, that's so ugly. <laughs> that's so ugly. Where the frick is the Jersey Mike? It's right here. Okay, Max is telling me Jersey Mike's is over there, but it's actually right here. outside my hair is going nuts I'm just putting um, Tana's food in the hot bag Andrea leave that door nice Chipotle order Andrea is only 2.3 miles away it's for the Chipotle order so let's go drop this off let's see but And yeah, let's go drop this off. Like I said, it's a leave at door, so. Hello. You have the Uber Eats, right? Okay. 
Just making sure. Okay, thank you. There you go. Yeah, you too. What a nice fella. Okay, so it was handed to me instead of a leave at door. So how do you do this? Do you just skip? Yeah. It's asking me for a photo, but I'm gonna just skip it. Skip and add note. Handed directly to customer. Quick delivered. And now we're gonna go drop off this Jersey Mike's order. Only it's a leave at door. Three miles for the Jersey Mike's order. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's get out of this neighborhood. Wait. I've never been in this neighborhood before. Okay, so the Uber Eats app said that order would take me about 30 minutes. It only took me 25 minutes, so made even better time than I thought I would. Um, I'm pulling up to like a little part in the neighborhood where I could just sit. I'm near some pretty good restaurants, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait. DoorDash is on now. I had DoorDash pause, but I just unpaused it. I wanna do like one more order and then go home. I'm pretty tired. I've been getting so like, I've been getting, oh that. I've been getting tired very easily lately. I don't know what it is. I just feel like I have no energy for like anything. Okay, so I just accepted this Barrow's Pizza order. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. It's like $9 for like five point something miles, but it's taking me down towards uh, my house. So after dropping off, I'll only be like maybe a mile and a half from my house. So it's perfect to end the night, nine bucks. So I think after this, I'll be at like $59 for the night, maybe 60. Yeah, not bad. I've been going for... I've been going for two and a half hours now. So 60 bucks in two and a half hours is really good. I took a nap before I came out here for like two hours and I still feel super sleepy. I think it's also just what I ate today. I didn't eat very well today at all. So the customer, I don't know their name because DoorDash doesn't want to tell you yet. So the customer ordered three items. They got, what is that? Anti-pasto, build your own mini eight inch pizza build your own large 14 inch pizza so two pizzas and i think pasta or something like that the pizza place is 1.6 miles away four minutes so not bad at all um and then it's taking me down towards my house so this person's from texas how far is texas a drive i feel like texas to arizona is a pretty far drive now i'm really curious to know exactly how far it is Okay, order's picked up. This is my last order for the night. She is 3.6 miles away, nine minute drive. And it's a new door, which is good. I think it's a house too. Oh man, I really wanted to get Panda Express. I totally forgot. There's not even a Panda like in this area that I'm dropping off to, so. I'll probably just get it another day. Damn, the pizza smells so good. It smells tasty. Man, this is gonna be hard with the go. I'm just reversing out of this uh, neighborhood. Order stayed at $9, so yeah. I thought it would go up because it was pizza. Pretty expensive pizza too. But no, it didn't go up, so I'll put up how much I made right here for the day. I'll also put a picture of the, the I'll put up a picture. I'll put up a screenshot of the miles I drove over here. And it's showing that I drove like 25 miles for three hours. And I think I made around 60 bucks, so bad i will try to film again very soon i know i probably said that in my last video but i will try again thank you guys for watching